There's always been a war with the governments and criminals of a country. Governments all around the globe are making efforts to prevent crime so that the people in the country can feel safe. There are many technologies that can help police to reduce the crime, and AI is one of them. Companies and cities all over the world are investing in an eye for crime prevention and detections, and the idea behind this investment is that the crime can be predicted and detected easily using AI system. Although the crime rate has shown a decline in many countries, criminal activities haven't been tackled efficiently. In the USA itself, the violent crime rate and property crime rate have declined by 3.3% and 6.3% respectively. The rise of AI in crime prevention detection is helping companies and government to reduce the occurrence of criminal activities, and these are how AI in crime prevention and detection is helping companies and governments. The first one is to detect gunfire. Police can reach the location where gunfire takes place without anyone calling them. How can that be done? The answer is with the help of AI technology. For example, sensor can be inside the city infrastructure. The sensor will be connected to a cloud-based application that can reliably detect and accurately locate the gunfire. Every sensor captures the time and the sounds of the gunfire, and the sensor can also help determine the positions of the shooter. The overall information in the sensor to police headquarters with the precise locations of the gunfire. Solving complex cases of murder requires a docket investigation. But what if a machine can help detect vital clues from the crime scene? When police officers visit a crime scene, they take photographs of the place where the crime has taken place. AI enable system can help detect clues from the police photographs. For example, a toy or a weapon from the crime scenes which is captured in the photographs can be searched for in the police database to find if it is the same toy or weapon that is used in the any previous murders. Bombs are among the most dangerous weapons used by criminals and terrorists. A single bomb can cause the death of hundreds. Robots can potentially identify nitroglycerin, aluminum powder, tetranetate, passive infrared sensors, and other components that are used to create bombs. With the ability to identify bomb components, AI-enabled robots can easily detect bombs without risking the lives of security personnel to detect them. AI for crime prevention can also do three things. The first one is predicting crime spots. Imagine a thief arriving at his next heist to find the police already waiting for him. Ooh, yes, it can be done by using AI technology. An AI system along with the big data can help in detecting crime spots. Crime types tend to cluster with space and time. For example, a rash of thefts in one area could help predict that similar incident might happen in the surrounding areas in the future. Many times, criminals communicate regarding a crime over the internet. AI can help monitor the content that is transferred on the internet with an algorithm that can detect any unusual activities or communication going on between criminals. Then, AI system can send information to the relevant law enforcement department, which can help identify the people who are about to commit a crime. Also, visual recognition can eventually help in predicting a person who will commit a crime. And the last one is to decide pre-trial release. After being charged for any crime, most suspects are usually released from jail until they stand a trial. In the traditional system, judges have to decide within minutes whether an individual is a flight risk or is a serious threat to society. The traditional system is an imperfect system open to bigotry, as judges tend to give different judgment according to the point of view towards a crime. AI can improve the current system and help in deciding the release of an individual to determine whether an individual should be granted a pre-trial release or not. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end and would you be so kind to give this video a thumbs up and a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. I'm joking, there's no such thing. Ta-da!